Operation. No. We wasted time. We have been Sir, wasted seven know. minutes now. Sir, Please, I am begging you. And celebration. Here's to Bordeaux. <laughs> Come fly with me. Let's fly, let's fly away. If you can use some exotic booze, there's a bar in Far Bombay. Come fly with me. Let's fly, let's fly away. It takes over 2,550 gigahertz and 1,700 staff to operate the 850 computers that control EasyJet's operation in Luton. Normally, the system runs smoothly, but today, computer says no. Or so these passengers think. Two of these six friends travelling to Bremen have not been checked in for their flight, and Supervisor Nathan Wood has got to sort it out. All of us are together. Sir, I don't know what happened over the checking system, and I will be asking to find out what did happen, but right now they cannot travel because the captain will not accept you. They were not technically checked in. This is ridiculous. All six of the friends say they were on time, but EasyJet claimed two were too late to check in. Those two passengers weren't checked in. Those yeah, but that's your fault. That's not ours. They were here. I appreciate that. I don't know what actually happened with the check-in system, but I spoke to my manager and she said they've spoken to the AA captain and the captain will not accept you for travel. We were all here checking in and suddenly it just stopped. I do. What? I accept what you're saying, sir, but I don't know what happened. I'm only dealing with what I've got right in front of you. Well, this the fact is not is, our fault. It's I appreciate yours. that, sir, but I've well, got to just look to get it sorted out. And I cannot get you onto the flight today. Let's have two passports, please. Six passports were handed through. They check four people in and they leave two out. Why? A party of six. But the friends haven't finished with EasyJet yet. You know, this is ridiculous. Xavier Schoenmakers is dropping his son Sam at Bristol for his holiday in La Rochelle, but they've been held up by a crash on the motorway. We can't take any more onto it now. It is just far too late, I'm afraid. Look, it's very important. This is coming a holiday. Can you please try to call? Oh, please, 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 please. They, they will tell me but no. But just tell me, just because... try. Can you try, please? And if they, they say no, that's fine. Can you try, please? They, they, I know they will tell me but, no. Well, but can you please try? Can you please try? But can you please try? Phone, please. They, that, that's an, I but know they say no, but please try. I mean, that's not too much to ask, is it? If it was earlier and there was a chance where they had not so Yeah, but please, but we've been talking for five minutes. You could have phoned already. Please. But this is it. They have finished. But they you don't finished. know because you haven't I phoned. Have, no, I can see it on the screen here. You've not been very helpful, honestly. You've never even tried to phone. You don't know what it means to us. With Supervisor Richard Oates not playing ball, Xavier tries the impossible. Please, 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 please. Getting Sam through to departures without a boarding card. No luck. Anyway, I felt the plane was still here. They could have, you know, just make a bit of an effort and just take into consideration, be a bit more flexible, really. It was clearly totally inflexible. Not even calling and say, look, can you hold for five minutes? It, it can seem very frustrating because they can only see you as a face. They don't know the information I have. Um, I know that, obviously, should they have started boarding late or would they be any more likely to position to accept someone, then it may be worth ringing. But at that point, when everyone was on board the aircraft, there really is no point to ringing. We'll be all right, we'll get you there. So while Sam's holiday plans aren't adding up, operations manager Martin Keddy is being given a maths lesson in Luton. If six people are together, mm -hmm. and there's six passports, and you take the six passports, and when you reach four, you stop. What sort of organisation is that? But she was trying to get you all on the flight. Yeah? Right, but, but she stopped the, too she short. Managed, yeah, but she managed to get four of them checked in, yeah, and, and then the two. system automatically closes out, yeah? Well, once the flight's closed, it's closed. There's nothing we can do with that. People run computer. Computer don't run people, all right? So as far as you can, you can override a computer because six people are together. But you didn't do that. Okay, we're here now. We're supposed to be in Germany tonight. What's going to happen? 
With four of the groups still checked in for the Bremen flight, Martin's doing all he can to get the two stray passengers anywhere in Germany. We have a Dortmund going, uh, it's closing in about five minutes. Dortmund, then put them on Dortmund. I don't know if there's any available, so I have to go and run into Have we got the passports there, sir? Two people that aren't, yeah. Just give me two seconds. It's tomorrow morning at 6.30 it's okay. to Berlin, I think. Berlin's a full 240 miles away from Bremen. This, this is getting more ridiculous no, I by the minute. Uh, but the no, stage we're checking in. TV, you know, because you're all comedians, and you're just not doing what you're supposed it's to do. In the time that you've been right? chatting and yakking about this thing, we could have been exactly. sorted this out and been on the plane. If you're going to go this evening, you should go to departures now, and I'll deal with the two people that are left behind, OK? With four passengers dispatched, all Martin's got to worry about now are brothers Fitzalbert and Linvold MacDonald. Definitely won't be using jet, not ever. But if my life depends on it. Do you want me to get your rebook now for tomorrow okay. morning and then you can uh, leave? Okay. okay. You say you're going to book us. Book us until give us the details. Just be with me just two seconds, okay? Looks like there might be a breakthrough. My colleagues just informed me that the Dortmund flight's closing now, but nine people failed to turn up to actually get that flight. So if you want, I can put in the Dortmund now going in literally 31 minutes. Yeah, okay. that gets you this evening, yeah? Luckily for Lynn Voll and Fitzalbert, supervisor says yes. At least now they're only going to be 140 miles from Bremen. All near that is to Bremen, I've got a clue. It's boarding at gate 11 okay, to make your way straight to departure. Luckily we had nine people who didn't turn up on the Dortmund flight, so I managed to get them on the Dortmund flight. It's not nice to be shy to that, but I do understand why they shy to me. While Martin's recovering from his tongue lashing, in Bristol, Xavier's temper's cooled. He's realised his only option is to transfer his son onto the next flight to La Rochelle. You want to move that one across now? Yes, yeah. 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 Sorry? Oh. It's 13. 13. It's 13. 13, yeah. And he's travelling on his own? Yeah. You've got to be 14 to travel on your own? Oh my god. Mm -hmm. That doesn't appear when I booked the flights, there was no, no mention of that. It does create an additional problem, that, because he can't travel on his own till he's 14 anyway. The online booking form's got three separate boxes for adults, children, and infants. The computer won't accept a child travelling on their own. Because you've got the title has come in as a mister, which means you would have put the passenger in as an adult. You've told it that the person is over 14. He's not going to be able to travel on his own until, well, at, at the earliest, until his birthday. OK. I'm just going to phone my friend now, Shannon. I, okay. yep. I don't know, I can't remember um, being asked his age. But uh, no, nowhere on the website does it say clearly that a child on his, on his own cannot, of 13, cannot travel on his own. So again, computer says no. Over at Luton, there's a taste of France in the air. TV chef and wine expert Phil Vickery's come to open a new route to the heart of great country. I've come here today to check in the first Bordeaux flight. Something I've never done before, but it should be a good laugh. <laughs> Phil's also here to escort competition winners Carol Bennett and Wendy Venner. Yeah, why are you checking in? You better have one of them. Oh, lovely. They've won five days at the Bordeaux Wine Festival, and Phil's the perfect person to give them a few tips. When I taste wine, if it's really good stuff, I'd much rather just drink it, but drink small amounts of it. Don't go mad, obviously. It just seems such a shame to spit it out. Yeah. But it's really up to you. But if you don't, you'll get very <laughs> very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Here's to Bordeaux. To Bordeaux. 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 Cheers. Cheers. Sarah Young has come off shift, but her day's only just begun. I'm doing a skydive at 
tandem, 10,000 feet. She's been cabin crew with EasyJet for two and a half years, and she's got a special reason for taking a leap into the unknown. I'm doing it to raise money for kidney research and donor awareness, because my boyfriend has got kidney failure, and he has had for a year and a half now. He's been on the transplant list for six months. He's been on dialysis for about six months as well. So um, I'm just doing it to raise awareness, really. In the air, TV chef Phil Vickery is treating Carol and Wendy to a very unusual type of in-flight entertainment before the wine festival. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pour you two, glass, two wines, one white, one red. Thank you. Now, we're going to have to ask you the question, which grape variety is it? It's from a white grape. red. Where in France would you think this wine came from? Bordeaux. Bordeaux. Hey! They're well on their way to France. Unlike Fabiola Franca in Luton, who's just missed check-in. Hello, is there any chance of any of the seats on the knee no, we don't. Sir, but the, the, sir. we wasted five minutes. I could have checked in already. Sir, the will not accept you. They're Please, starting. I am begging you. My grandmother is in the hospital. It's very severe. I have to be in this tonight. Oh, Please, sorry. I am begging you. I am sir, begging you. I am begging. What do you do? Come on, sir. it's only about five minutes. I cannot minutes. get you on the flight. I can run to the gate. Please phone the plane? captain. Tell him no, it's very sir. special circumstances. So Please, know, I am sir. begging you. They will you. not get you on the flight. We cannot speak to the captain. I just have to be on this flight. You wasted five minutes. I could have checked in. I could be on this plane right now. I could be making my way to this plane now. So we it's only not about five sir, minutes. Sir. I can be making my way to this plane now. We wasted time. We have wasted sir, seven minutes now. Sir, Please, I am begging you. Calm down. Faced with such desperation, Nathan relents and does the unheard of. He phones the captain for a second time. Uh, yeah, is there any chance of getting to Madame Steve's on for me? So nobody asked, but I need to get on there. Okay, it's fine. Thanks. No. There's nothing else I can do. I've tried twice for you, um, and both times they've said no. Let me go to this I plane. I cannot get you onto that flight, Let me sir. go to this plane, please. Let no, me go sir, on that I plane. Get you onto let the me go on that plane. I can't, sir. I am begging you. Let me go on that plane. My mother may die tonight. If I go tomorrow, okay, it's just too late. Let's do you understand? I appreciate that, sir. Do you understand? I am begging do. you. The time has come for Sarah to do her skydive. Boyfriend Matthew has come along to watch her jump in aid of kidney research. I, I, I just, I don't know, it's made me ever so proud that, you know, she thinks that much of me to do it. And again, I think it's just going to be a great help uh, to people in my situation um, with the money that she's raised. I think it's just amazing, really. I'm very proud. Oh, God. <laughs> If Sarah can hold her nerve, she could raise thousands of pounds. I'm very, very nervous. I can't even imagine what it's going to be like at the minute. So, in one way. <laughs> oh, <it's awful. laughs> I was awful. I hope her lamb better than that. Is she getting up? Still at the Luton sales desk, Fabio's in no mood to give up. I have, to, I have to be on this flight. I have to be on this flight. So I, I am that, sorry. I'm begging you. I've begged you ten times. I have to be on this flight. I, I have to be on this flight. I've told you also ten times. I have to be on this flight. As much as I know it is important to you, I cannot ask, keep asking for the same thing. This is an important matter. I appreciate that, sir, but I've tried six times to get you on there, and each time the answer has been the same. No. But his persistence is paying off as Nathan explores every option. Yeah, hi. Have you got anything from Geneva? Okay, cool. So I've got gentlemen who I definitely want to get on there. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, we might actually be able to get you out on our half-past six flight to Geneva. From, from here. Oh, okay. Okay, follow me. And from there, Fabio can get a train to Nice to see his grandmother. No matter how much I kept telling to him for like ten minutes, no, I cannot get you on the flight. He wasn't giving up. Okay, if you go see a gentleman there, you're on it. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm really sorry about that. I hope, it, okay, I hope you get there in time. You've got to give it to him for being persistent. Yeah, no, it's not a great solution, but it is a solution. They should get there tonight, so it shouldn't be too bad. The mood's very different in Belfast, where a party of pink ladies has just rolled in. We're going to Liverpool for the weekend, and we're just going to go and have a good time. Woo! I'm going to have a good time! Woo! 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 
Chief Bridesmaid Tara Giverney has organised everything from the T-shirts to the plane tickets for Bride Sinead Thompson, and they're planning a wild weekend. We're saying nothing to nobody about nothing at all. Quiet. Keep it quiet. That's Sinead when she was young, we girl, and a dodgy jumper. That's after. Before and after. That's her after. And that's me now. She's the lovely <laughs> now. She's all packed the bags of shelves. Yes. Could anybody have tampered with them? No. Anything sharp or dangerous? Never. He's all going to have a good time? Oh, yeah. While the hens are on their way to paint Liverpool red, in Bordeaux, Carol and Wendy are planning to mix red and white. We're going to go over there and have some wine tasting. And then we're going to go to that one. And then that one, and that one, and that one, and that one. Phil Vickery's left the girls to it, and in his absence, they seem more interested in drinking than tasting. The advice that Phil gave us was to spit out the early ones, and as we go further on through the evening, to drink the ones that are the better wines. But I'm not spitting any out. <laughs> Similarly bewildered is Chief Bridesmaid Tara. There's a problem with her flight from Belfast to Liverpool. It's a total dilemma here, total dilemma. Now I have no identification to get through the gates. She's booked her ticket in her married name, but her passport's in her maiden name. Somehow she's got a boarding card, but she's got to get through another strict security check to get on the plane. I organised all this and I'm going to be the one to get left behind, so worst case scenario, I'm going to be crying. So. Fingers crossed. Thank you for waiting. Passengers in boarding group A only for Lady ZY 6140 Liverpool. Please board now through departure gate number 14. <laughs> so far, so good. <laughs> With her boarding card and passport not matching, will passenger service agent Daniel O'Reilly spot the difference? Here's the real nerve seven. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Yes, he's spotted it. No have you got on her? No, I haven't. Uh, so have you got a credit card or something? Uh, a medical card. Sure, okay. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. Tara and getting me. All Tara's got in her married name is a photographic medical card. Just give it to me, Sarah. Oh, wait, actually. Um, there's a <laughs> there one right here on the uh, Liverpool 614. She's booked under her married name. Passport's in her maiden name. She's got a medical card with her name on it. We're not meant to be the same. Everything okay? Woo! Yeah, we know we are. And that cheap and that stuff. That cheap's going! Yeah! Patsy says she's been here yet. Sales desk. She can feel it off in the sales desk. Oh, yeah, she can hear me. Patsy's just done. Because it's photo ID, she's able to travel as it's a domestic flight. Yeah! And on the Good luck, Liverpool. Basically, we had something in the end that said she was who she said she was, so it was getting closer. I mean, we got them done, so we have to have a good time anyway in Liverpool by the looks of things. I got a nice hug and a kiss afterwards, so that's always a bonus. <laughs> okay, there's been a change of plan, so we on to the next lift. <laughs> Less ecstatic with the thought of flying is Sarah. She's about to tandem skydive from 12,000 feet. <laughs> Oh, we're coming down really fast now. Oh, my God. Woo! 
Thank you. Oh, I'm gonna have to me. Oh, God, pounds in. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> I was absolutely <laughs> in my <myself. laughs> A good crack was had by all on the hen party in Liverpool. So far, Sarah has raised an impressive £1,700 for kidney research, and Xavier did get Sam to La Rochelle with another airline whose computer said yes. The numbers just don't add up for the duo tonight, as Johnny Lee Miller and Lucy Liu star in all-new Elementary at 9 on Sky Living HD.